the Miami Dolphins made a splash hiring former San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel as their new head coach. McDaniel is a boom or bust hire, but that boom is just one of the reasons Miami made the right choice in hiring him. No other team in the NFL with an opening at head coach brought McDaniel in for an interview, but that didn't stop Miami from getting their guy. McDaniel steps into a situation where the team is coming off of back-to-back -back winning seasons, but no playoffs to show for it. Miami new head coach will need to come in and revamp the offense right away, and it starts with starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. Can the new Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel fix Tua Tungavailoa? There is no hiding that I am not the biggest fan of Tungavailoa, who I had high hopes for in 2021. Tungavailoa failed to reach any expectation I had for him, and after missing a few games because of another injury, I really lost any confidence I had in him. At times, Tungavailoa looked like one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL, as his limitations shined the brightest. Obviously, the horrible offensive line and offensive staff played a huge role in that, but it also showcased a lot of Tungavailoa flaws. Even with McDaniel, I have serious doubts that Tungavailoa can become one of the best, most elite quarterbacks in the NFL. However, I do think McDaniel can help fix Tungavailoa and get the most out of him. What that means for the Dolphins is unknown, but the best case for Miami is for Tungavailoa to make a significant jump and show that he could possibly be their franchise quarterback. McDaniel feels strongly about working with Tungavailoa, so for the time being, I am going to ride with McDaniel words. If McDaniel thinks he can fix Tungavailoa, then who am I to argue? With that said, here are three reasons why. 3. Confidence, belief in Tua Tungavailoa. Brian Flores never believed in Tua Tungavailoa and never wanted him. It showed in every move he made, every decision he made, and every press conference he did. We can argue about conspiracy theories another day, but for now, I think we can all agree that Flores and Tungavailoa relationship was terrible. I am definitely not making an excuse for Tungavailoa's poor play, but I do think knowing Flores didn't believe in him impacted his game. I think it impacted his preparation. I think it impacted him in every aspect of his game. Tungavailoa never played with confidence, and I think that will change with Mike McDaniel. You could hear the belief and confidence he had in Tungavailoa when he spoke to him on FaceTime. I would bet that Tungavailoa would say McDaniel supported him more in that phone conversation the Flores ever did since he was drafted. I think we could see a more confident Tungavailoa in 2022 because of McDaniel believing in him, which would be a huge step in fixing Tungavailoa. 2. Improved offensive line, rushing attack. Miami offensive line was the worst in the NFL. There is no debate, and honestly, it may have been the worst offensive line in NFL history. There is no chance that Mike McDaniel allows that to happen again. The offensive line will be addressed, and it will be coached better. Far too many times, Miami offensive line failed to pick up easy stunts and made mistakes that should have easily been corrected with coaching. McDaniel will definitely have the big boys up front pass protecting, which will obviously help out Tua Tungavailoa. Then, outside of just pass blocking, McDaniel will run the ball, and he will use that rushing attack to help his quarterback. Some may take it as a knock on Tungavailoa that he needs a strong rushing attack, and it may be a valid one, but no matter who the quarterback is, we should all want that. Having a team that can run the ball helps everyone, not just the quarterback. However, for Tungavailoa, having an offensive line that can pass protect and help open up rushing lanes will be huge for him. 1. Coaching. Not to keep bashing Brian Flores, but I think we can all agree he did not help coach Tua Tungavailoa to the fullest. I believe there is a lot of growth for Tungavailoa, but he really needs to be coached. I think a lot of Tungavailoa's mistakes throwing the football are coachable. I do not think some of his limitations are coachable, but I think if Tungavailoa can be coached up, he can be a lot better. Again, I am not making excuses for what Tungavailoa has done. He has played badly on his own, it is his fault too, but I think it will be fair to see what he can do with a coach who will coach. Tungavailoa also needs to be willing to be coached, too, it is not just about McDaniel. The title is head coach, Mike McDaniel said it himself, and he is hyped up to coach players that needed to be coached. Tua Tungavailoa needs to be coached, and I think there is a chance that with McDaniel's coaching, he could be fixed and help the Miami Dolphins win football games. However, just because Miami hired McDaniel does not magically mean Tungavailoa will be better. I am still not a believer that Tungavailoa can be an elite quarterback or that he will be the franchise quarterback for the Dolphins. Tungavailoa needs to improve drastically in year three, and if he is unable to show significant improvements, Miami needs to move on from him without hesitation.